So today I want to talk about the don'ts about online course creating. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale from self-employed to a business and double your income within a year guaranteed. Now, <clears throat> there's many online course creator coaches or offers online and often those programs are online programs. So you will have the proof that it works. Yeah, because you, you buy it. So you think and you see it, the evidence that it is working. So I'm not saying it isn't working. Yeah, but there are some things you need to consider. When is a good time for you to start creating an online program? When you are getting too busy. Now, when you are getting too busy, it's really important to know, are you getting busy because you do everything on your own? Or are you getting too busy because you have too many clients? And those two are a world of difference. Are you too busy because you do everything on your own? It's not an online course that you need. It is automation and finding team what you need. Um, <clears throat> if you're too busy with private coaching and you've already delegated and outsourced uh, a lot, yes, of course, then online programs really is uh, a good thing for you to do or group programs. Also, you would have, uh, I suppose, marketing and sales budget and advertising budget if you have that many clients. But here's the trap for many women. They just started out they uh, believe that nowadays you need to do an online program. They also are, um, t are being sold to the fact that an online program is passive income, which is not true. It's a fairy tale, but I'll, I'll tell you about that later in the video. And, um, and they invest the money they have in creating an online program because they are insecure they don't feel they're good enough that, uh, that they can create an online program. And they think this is something magical and they need a specific guideline on how to create an online course. Well, let me tell you, it is really, really, really simple creating an online course. It's creating some videos, it's creating some PDF workbooks, and then, then that's it. That's all you need to do. Yes, you can extend it with... Um, Q and A's, live Q and A's. You can extend it with transcriptions. You, uh, you can extend it with a platform where you offer your online training, but you can just put them all on your website, one page with a, 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 a private link and a password. And that's, that's, it's that simple. It might not be that professional, but if you have never sold online programs, why are you going to invest a lot of money in how to create online programs before you even know if you can sell online programs? And yes, I know these programs do promise you also that you can sell it, but I know I've spoken to so many women who are in this process and they don't realize that it's, it, it, that, that there is, it's a huge, that it, the creating is not the problem. It's the selling and getting money, which is the problem. So you need to have sales budget. You need to have advertising budget. You need to have marketing budget. You need to have funnels. You need to have a sales page. You need to have an opt-in page. Okay, most, most of the online course creating programs uh, show you how to do this. But if you don't have a big email list, and, and for example, I have an email list of three and a half thousand, which is not very big. But for us, it's really not easy selling online programs. Um, and they make you believe that you only need 100 to sell an online program. Well, the, those 100 need to be your exact audience. They need to know you very well. They need to have the budget. All of it needs to be right. And yes, then you can sell with a list of 100. But if you don't have all these right people on your list, you will get disappointed. So, sorry. 
Now, how to start creating an online program? The easiest thing is when you have already uh, clients who, lo who love what you do and you just ask them what is it that they need and what is it that they want, what would be their next step. You sell it to them, you do the program with them and you record everything and then it will be an online program. Now, that's the easiest way of creating an online program because there's not a lot you need to create. Plus, it has been paid for, your time has been paid for. But what I see, many women do it the other way around. They have the perfect online course, the perfect online training, and then nobody buys. The good reason doing it the way I told you is also because then you will get testimonials. How can you get testimonials for an online program if you've never sold it? Then you should give it away for free to a couple of people over a very low price and in exchange you will get a killer testimonial. But here's the thing, when you give something away for free, people don't value it as much and they might not even finish your program because they're distracted and then you don't get your testimonial. It's my philosophy, when you are not full with private clients, that you don't need an online program. It's my philosophy that when you're not full with, uh, when you're really busy, and, and, and because that's where those people um, focus on, you're too busy, but you're too busy because you do everything on your own. You might not be too busy because you have so many clients. And there's a big difference between those two. Are you too busy because you do everything on your own? Then that's a problem you need to work on. And an online course is not going to solve that because it's going to create you more work, because you need to start promoting it on social media, in emails, doing Facebook Lives, doing challenges, giving webinars. Otherwise, your online program will not be sold. And is this passive? No, it's not passive. Passive is an investment that pays itself back over and over and over without doing anything. Doing something once and then get paid forever. That's not what an online program is about, unless you have a huge advertising budget, you can create a sales funnel, send Facebook or Google ads or Instagram ads to your funnel and people buy. The only thing you do is really checking your stats all the time. That's passive. But if you don't have enough advertising budget, you need to do all the promotion yourself and that's not passive income. So I hope you have seen that that is a myth. So don't fall into that trap. Now, this is just one, one tiny, tiny little uh, topic, uh, which uh, in my whole holistic um, system of the blueprint for creating a successful business for business women. And it's the topic, um, where is it? It's in the area, um, well, automation and also sales and a bit in a branding because that's the creation. So there's three uh, areas involved. There's many areas you need to work on when you want to scale and grow your business. And what we've already mentioned, delegation, automation, it's also factors. So if you want to grow from a one woman business from self-employed to a business, just schedule a quick 15 minute call with me. The link will be in the uh, comment section underneath here in, in the video or at social media. And I will not be selling you because the 15 minutes is too short. The 15 minutes is to see where are you now? Um, do you like me? Do I like you? Uh, can I even guarantee that I double your business within a year? Because if I can't, there's, there's no point working with you. And then we might be able to schedule another call. You will get value out of this call because you know where you are and you know what you can do. Right, bye bye for now. And see you next week in another video about how to scale and grow your business from a one woman self-employed business owner to a proper business woman. <laughs>